Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, February 17, 2021. If you like. Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, February 17, 2021. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we did initially today fall towards the level here at 1905 and then we rallied about the 20 exponential roughly at 1958 and then we broke down and now we're trading right underneath the 20 exponential whether or not we manage to break the 20 exponential yet tomorrow that is to be seen technical indicators they are built all over the place at this point macd is bearish the snarkastic is um, flat and the cci and the RSI are bullish at this point. We still at 0.745 here in the RSI. So there is some space towards zero. So still it is, well, it's in the area of bearishness, but it's looking more bullish than it has been. So at this point, it is fairly likely that we'll break towards, uh, break, break through the 20 exponential, but that opens the door to these previous highs here at 91.57. Break below the 50 opens the door towards these previous lows. And if that breaks, we'll go all the way down to 89.15. So let's look at oil. So oil has finally shown a little, little sign of weakness. We did fall towards the previous highs here at roughly 59.46. And then we rallied again. Um, yes. Probably signs of weakness, but oil has proven to be basically in a massive rally in the probably worst crisis since the Great Depression. So that is fairly odd. Uh, usually it's completely the opposite. I would expect oil to be trading at $28, $25. Um, but at the point at this point, we're trading at $60.05. That is uh well nearly at the well. Basically at pre uh, the same level that we we're trading at prior to the pandemic, so this is very very odd. We have a reshape recovery in this market. Um, however, we are getting to the price level where it will become profitable, very profitable for uh, many producers. So if this price level goes a little bit higher then you could see rig counts, for example, increase, and that will increase the supply of oil. And that will have quite a negative effect on this price. So we could see prices go a little bit higher. Um, they shouldn't, but the way that this has been behaving, we have been rallying since uh, down here at uh, $34, and now we're at 60 So, well, we have basically doubled uh, the price of oil since the beginning of November. And uh, yes, it is just rally, continue rallying. But breakdowns towards the 20 exponential, that should open a lot the door for uh, for interest for buyers to come in. Break below that, opens the door to the, to the 50 moving average down here at $51. Um, I don't really see us going down to the 50 at this point. 20 exponential has been very supportive. If it breaks down to the 20, then... Uh, that is probably as far as this will go. So let's look at natural gas. So we did rally above $3. Uh, we are trading above $3 here. And um, this is most likely due to the fact that, um, well, Texas is under snow at this current stage. So weather patterns have major implications for natural gas. Demand goes significantly up, but also, um, well, the higher the price, the more interest it is to basically go looking for natural gas. So supply will also increase with the price. But usually when you get to the winter months, you see these spikes. Uh, you can look back here. This was basically in 2018. We had this massive spike all the way up towards nearly $5. Uh, we are trading at 3.01 at this point. We are not even close to where we were only a few months ago. But at this point, well, if we manage to stay above three, then we are most likely going to um, test, probably go and test these previous highs. 
and they will may maybe get a double top here and then this will go down. As soon as uh, wedding conditions uh, improve, this will basically drop like a rock. Technical indicators are all very bullish at this stage. So let's look at copper. So copper continues to rally. Uh, it looks like we're running into resistant here. It is basically uh, rounding off here. Technical indicators are also showing signs of weakness. CCI is turning around quite aggressively here. Stochastic is flat, MACD is still bullish, and we are overbought. So you can also look at the bullish band for, for copper, and you can see that we have been outside for quite some time. We are inside now, but when we get to these um, to these extreme levels here, it is very likely to, this will drop towards the 20 exponential, which is at 3.67, and also the previous highs here. And that will um, basically a lot of interest for buyers to come in and buy at that point. Long-term target here is uh, 3.9 and then to 4. So let's look at gold. So gold continues to break down. We are basically approaching the bottom of the Bollinger Band. So we rallied up towards the 50, broke down. We are at the bottom of the Bollinger Band. This should offer quite a lot of support. We're also at the same same level as we were previous were at roughly, we're trading at 1794. If this breaks, then we could drop all the way down to 7050 and then to 70. So we can look at this. We have a major resistant line here, which will be will which has proven to be very uh, difficult to get through. And we also have a we also have a support line, we can draw it down here, which we could drop to. So we have tested this once, three times. We could actually drop towards these very lows, which is at 1665. If we don't manage to break through uh, this resistant line, then we most likely just go lower towards these lower levels. People, it looks like, are instead of investing in gold, are invested in cryptos. Um, so it looks like um, cryptos currency, especially Bitcoin, is more favorable to young people, for example, than gold is. So call me old school, but, but yes, uh, gold has been um, the thing that people, or the asset that people have gone to when you have economic downturns, but it looks like they are turning to Bitcoin now. So let's look at silver. So also here, we dropped towards the 20 exponential and the 20 exponential was holding very nicely. So we broke down towards the 20 and then we rallied in our trading at 27.29. Technical indicators are, well, nearly flat. CCI is a little bit bullish, but otherwise they are technically flat. So 20 exponential is where people come in and buy. If this breaks, that opens the door to the 50 and that should be even more supportive. Uh, Long-term target here, it looks like we're going to gradually grind towards $30. Uh, and uh, that's where we'll most likely see quite a pullback uh, if we get there, or we'll go significantly higher. So let's look at Platinum. So it has been rallying uh, for a, a long time. It ran into a brick wall today, and uh, now we're starting to break down. We're, we're down roughly 3%. We were way outside here. We did rally to 1,350, and now we're trading at 1,259. Uh, we could be heading towards roughly 1,200. We'll have the 20 exponential moving this way, the 20 simple moving average this way, and the 50 moving average moving in this direction. So a pullback towards 1,200 or the 20 exponential at 1,160. Four, that is uh, fairly likely at this point. But we did also see uh, quite a big pullback here. We continued to pull back and then we rallied and then we just shot up to the air. But uh, parabolic moves like this one, they never last. We need uh, at some point a pullback before going higher. So yes, let's look at Pallium. So as you can see, we are still trading uh, within this same square. 
at the 2.5 and the lows up 2.2 uh, you can go a little bit lower here but the bottom here is the 200 moving average we did touch that bottom um, well two and a half weeks ago and now we're slowly heading back towards the very top we could stay within this area here for quite some time as we did over here where basically nothing really happened and uh, that is, looks like we're, we're gonna we're seeing that right now so we headed towards the, the top of the bullish band and then broke down and so now we are well basically in the middle of nowhere there is two ways of trading this market you either sell it at the top here or you buy it at the bottom that is the um, there's where the lowest risk risk is and uh, also highest return uh, break above uh, this uh, high of 2.5 then that it will go significantly higher break below the 200 moving average here then we'll head towards two so let's look at aluminium so as you can see we were outside of the bullish band and now we're slowly looking growing gradually towards the 20 exponential moving average we may go flat 20 exponential we move this way and then we'll go higher a break down towards the 20 that should offer quite a lot of support technical indicators they are turning around we are on the edge of being our bot so we could see this go lower so last time we went all the way down to 1950 before rallying towards uh, to 2075 so let's look at nickel So we did rally today we we're at the 18,803 at this current stage we're getting very overstretched we we're at the base the top of the bullion japan here pullbacks uh, we may see another rally we'll probably go to 1900 1900 19,000 sorry before we go back towards the 20 exponential so every time we have not every time but usually when we get outside of the bullion japan here we see a decline towards the middle of the bullion japan or towards the very bottom where the 50 moving average has been residing so similar here pullbacks towards the 50 similar here the middle and there to the 50 and so on so pullbacks towards the 20 and the 50 have been uh, buying opportunities uh, in the past but at this point pullbacks is needed for this so let's look at uh, sugar So as you can see, we did rally to the way day up towards the 20 uh, to the top of the bullish band. I was supposed to say 0 0.1671 is where we're trading a moment. So these are also the previous highs over here. And uh, well, we could go higher. There is uh, some room to the upside still. We're at 61. Technical indicators are some of them are turning around. MACD is flat. The stochastic is flat. CCI is bullish at this stage. So well, it's more likely that we'll see a minor fall similar to this towards the 20 exponential and then we are to rally to the upside if we rally we'll go outside of the bullish band last time we did that we saw what basically happened here so let's look at cotton so we did a rally way outside of the bullish band we're trading at 0 uh, 87 83 at this current stage we are on the edge of being our bot overstretched so a pullback towards at least uh, 0 0.8495 that is plausible and probably also around these previous highs here and the 20 exponential moving average roughly 0 0.8348 uh, if we break below the 20 exponential that opens the door to the 50 down here at 0 0.8 technical indicators are still very bullish but we're on the edge of being overbought so let's look at COA. So we are still underneath the 20 exponential. We are getting very overstretched to the downside. We fell roughly uh, well, nearly the, the two and a half, three percent today. And uh, technically, the years, they are looking dreadful. So we may, we are now trending underneath the 200 moving average and could be heading towards 2.250, which is also the previous lows here. So we're trading at the highs here, 2.8, the lows at 2.5. Five three five. I did expect this to go to the other side as we we're entering months where the 
uh, demand for this uh, uh, commodity should be increasing. But, well, we are, that is not what the numbers are saying. We are actually trending to lower levels. So let's look at wheat. Happy there. Yes, so this was fairly um, interesting day for wheat. Uh, we opened the day by it uh, basically jumping to above the 20 exponential. Then it broke down quite aggressively. I thought we were going to drop significantly lower, but then it completely turned around. And now we're trading, trading, uh, trading at 659. So this is the trade that we opened the last... Um, it's last week or Monday. Or Monday was it was it we opened it, and we were hugging here at the the fifty moving average. And um, well, we did manage, or I did close it here just above the twenty exponential when it started to look very rocky. When it looked like it were going to turn around, so it was uh, a profit. It could have been much more profitable if I waited for longer into the day. So um, yes, but you can't catch them all. At this point, it looks like we are going to head towards the top of the bullish band here at 669 before this will turn around. That's also the previous highs over here. Technical indicators, they are turning around. They are looking very promising at this stage. There's a lot of room to the upside. So up towards the top of the bullish band before turning around, that is very likely at this point. So. If you have any questions, you are welcome to write to me on Patreon. Otherwise, good luck and thank you very much.